Hello everyone, welcome back. I've been doing some testing to see what happens to a bullet when it exits a house in a self-defense situation. Uh, so as we all know, most houses are made out of sheetrock, which is a very thin layer. Um, and these drums that I've been shooting through are also a very thin layer. What you'll see me do is shoot through that first drum with the 22 pistol and it will easily penetrate both sides of that uh, and impact the second drum, okay? Uh, so, so this isn't a test to see what it takes to stop the bullet. Well, this is more of a test to see what it takes to destabilize the bullet. Uh, and, and, you know, because what happens when the bullet destabilizes and starts tumbling, um, you know, all of a sudden it's going sideways through the air so that air friction is, is slowing the bullet down. Uh, and as it slows down more and more, then gravity is basically pulling it to the ground. Um, so, um, enjoy the videos and we'll talk soon. Okay, and what I find is that when I shoot it with 22 long rifle out of a pistol, which has about 60 foot pounds of energy, on the first barrel, it goes through both sides of that barrel. So let, let's do that right now. And I'm lining up with the rear, with the barrel all the way in the back. So let's take a quick look at this. Basically, all five bullets went through the front. They all came to the back. And four bullets happened to hit this, were able to uh, hit that barrel and not penetrate it. Let me show you guys a close up over there. All right, so I'm going to take you up to the barrel. Basically, I had five bullets, went, went through here, came out the back, and I've got some freshly marked holes over here. Um, I can tell which are the old ones because they've, they're circled with black. So four of them came through. One, two, three, four. The, um, they did not penetrate. The fifth one got completely diverted. Now, the interesting thing is when I, uh, uh, actually, that might be it, uh, it over here. A good chance that that's it right there. Let me just mark that one. Okay, uh, when I shot this with a double up buckshot, same exact test. Um, the uh, the buckshot came through the first barrel, blew a hole through that, blew you know blew a hole through the back side of it, hit that that first barrel, um, and I I had very minimal pre penetration on that. Um, That was a lot more clear. I can see what happened. All right, so this is what the double op buck did. Came through here, made a nice hole, went to the second drum, and basically this is our pattern right here. So this basically had no holes on it. In fact, we got like that one didn't penetrate. It's barely penetrating. I'm mean, gonna see what what the AR pistol does now. This has a seven and a half inch barrel. Okay, Did. Okay, so we got through the first barrel. We knew that was going to happen. Even the 22 penetrated this. Got to the second barrel. All right, fired eight shots. We got one keyhole, two, so that keyhole three, three, four, five, six. You can see how they're keyholing, they're, they're tumbling. So coming out of that first barrel, they're coming out tumbling. Okay, so out of the eight shots, we got one, two, three, wait, one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, six I'm able to identify, actually seven, eight. 
So these guys went really, really diverted, went in sideways, the keyhole to the side over here, and they went in that way. We see some fragmentation in the bottom of the barrel. Uh, let's see, as far as exits, we see that they're, they're keyholing out. Okay, let's go, let's go to the third barrel. See what we got here. Only one made it to the third barrel, and it keyholed in, and that's it. Didn't make it out. Stopped there. Um, so the uh, when I shot the uh, nine millimeter pistol, uh, you know, with the Glock 17, it actually uh, all of those actually made it to the third barrel. With the uh, AR-15 pistol, everything's pretty much stopping on this. Uh, on the second barrel, so it's making it for the for the first barrier, and that's pretty much where where they're dying. They put the camera down, and we'll talk more about this. So what's happening here? How come I've got two pistols here? You know, one's a 22 with 60 foot pounds of energy, the other one's um, you know an AR pistol with 650 foot pounds of energy, and they're both doing the same thing. Well, the one thing that we know for sure, it's not the material that's actually stopping the bullet because. The barrels are nothing. A 22 can, can penetrate them on both sides. So, so the barrel itself is, is nothing um, as far as the material to stop it. So something else is stopping it. And what, what we're seeing is, what I'm seeing is when the bullets go through the first barrel, uh, the, uh, you know, with the AR-15, they're tumbling out of it. And when they go, and you know, when it comes out of the, uh, the, the first barrel, in the air it's tumbling and the air friction is hitting the side of the bullet. So that the bullet is significantly slowing down in that 15 feet between the first barrel and the second barrel. And that's why when it's going into the second barrel, um, it's, it's going into it and maybe it's penetrating it, but it's keyholing. Okay, it's going in sideways. Um, and then when it goes in sideways, it's, it's, it's either, you know, in some cases it's stopping when it hits the back of that, that second barrel, or if it does come out, um, it's going, it's, it's pretty much going into the dirt. Um, just pointing out only one managed to make it to the third barrel and that's the one that came through unobstructed you know it, just by luck it happened to go um, through holes I had already punched uh, so it didn't keep hole through so the the, the, uh, the destabilizing effect uh, is the most important factor as far as stopping the bullet not the material because as I just pointed out the material here is nothing 22 will penetrate both sides of this so so we're not stopping these bullets with material, we're stopping them by destabilizing them. And I should be right there. All right, so this is cool. Let's uh, get the camera. And let's walk down range and see what the uh, you know what happens to the two two three round, which is very similar to the five five six, as it goes through these uh, through these uh, you know these barriers. Okay, so this is my first my first barrier. These are all the shots I put through it. All right, let's go to the second one. Okay, so you can see after they went through that first steel drum which as I explained earlier was pretty thin skinned. The uh, 22 is able to penetrate this. You see how they're keyholing, right? See how they all keyhole. Now these ones that I have marked with circles, those I shot earlier, I did another video on that. So the ones without the uh, the circles are, are ones that I just shot. All right, so they've keyholed through. You know, I can see they came out the back. I can also see that some of the uh, there's little lead chunks in there. So so the um, you know I can see that the jacket like over there I can see the jacket is actually actually came off and I can see lead starting to peel off. Okay, so let's go to the third drum now. So for one thing, the uh, when we get to the third drum, um, we're st still keyholing. Like I said, don't look at the holes that have the uh, don't look at the black circle holes. Look at the ones that don't have the black circles because those are fresh. I just shot that. Now this is interesting. No penetration there. 
Okay, we got some penetration, right? Penetration, penetration, penetration. Okay, penetration, that's a new one. But we also have cases of no penetration. Okay, no penetration. No penetration. Okay, so um, by the third steel drum, um, we're, we, we're, we're starting to really bleed velocity and energy. Uh, and we're starting to drop down to the point where where we cannot reliably um, penetrate the these barrels. Okay, so basically we're below the power of a 22. And if you look in here, you can see bullet fragments that got trapped in the barrel. So we got bullets not exiting. Let's see what happens here. So now we're up to the fourth drum. Fourth drum. Okay, see, I got one over here. I probably shot that at a high angle, so that that uh, probably that came clean through. So that probably just went through the first um, first barrel, but didn't uh, you know? And it didn't go through the other two because that was just high up. But if I look down here, oh, here's a nice one. Look at that. You can see the lead, right? It just dented it right there. Okay, looks like we got some dent marks down there too. Just actually didn't even dent it. Just took the paint off of it. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to use this 9mm rifle to see what type of penetration I can get through these steel barrels. Um, you know, what happens after the 9mm goes through multiple layers, okay, of, of multiple barriers. All right, so here we go. Walking through this, this is the first, the first uh, steel barrel that it went through. No big deal. We knew it was going to penetrate this one. So it goes through. It actually got better um, penetration into the second drum. I'm not seeing as much keyholing as I saw earlier. Uh, the um, the uh, 223 was was keyholing uh, into this into this barrel. I, I actually I rotated it before so that so that. Um, you know, I would have a fresh spot, but yeah, you can see the, the earlier keyholes, you know, how it keyholed in. Whereas the 9mm, uh, it's going in a lot more cleanly. It looks like it's coming out a lot more cleanly. And then it's going um, into my, uh, this is my third barrel now. It's going into that. Nice clean holes. Okay. Uh, and I can see nice clean holes out the back. Right, I, I can tell which are the um, the nine millimeters because basically they're they're bigger holes. So yeah, you can see bigger holes, bigger holes, some nice clean holes. So uh, definitely, you know, it, it made it through the uh, the third barrel pretty pretty uh, authoritatively. Let's get to the fourth barrel. Okay, this is uh, where we saw that the uh, the, uh, the the five five six or rather two two three I was testing was getting stopped. And yeah, nice clean holes, clean holes, clean holes, clean holes. That one went in sideways over here. I mean, they're, they're definitely starting to veer off a little bit because I can see it, you know, this one's going off at, at an angle. So at this point, they're starting to really destabilize. Okay, and they're coming out the back. Okay, we saw that the, um, the 223 was really not making it out. I mean... Uh, the ones that uh, pretty much they were they were stopping on this barrel more or less, and anything that got into it really didn't come out the back. All right, and uh, let's see if we got anything on the on the on the uh, fifth barrel. Nope, I don't see any new holes. I'm using the Glock 17. Uh, you know, like I said, just cheap old full metal jacket, you know, target rounds. Um, and let's see how far we can get. Okay, let's 
see what we got. All right, we usually got through the first one. We expected that. Came into the second one. We got exit holes here. And, all right, so the the old, uh, the old uh, circles are marked, uh, rather the old holes are marked with black. So anything that you see that doesn't have, um, that doesn't have a uh, circle around it is new. So we're definitely getting to the third barrel. That one looks like it went off at a weird angle. That went off at a weird angle. So they're definitely like dispersing. So as they're coming through the uh, second barrel and they're hitting the third one, uh, they're, they're, they're definitely starting to destabilize. With the rifle, with the 9mm rifle, we saw that they, uh, you know, they, they had a lot more stability when they came through. Okay, so they're making it out of the third one. All right, these are the ones over here without the holes. I'm making it out. Let me see if you have anything in my fourth barrel. Looks like we'll make it through here. So, so actually nothing came down the center. Everything's kind of going off to the sides now. Because as they're coming through there... Uh, they're they're basically being deflected off to the sides, so they're impacting rather than staying in the center. They're, they're tumbling off, so that's interesting. So, but, so for the most part, they're being stopped by the third barrel, uh, which is what we saw um, with the AR-15. I'm going to be aiming right across the top. So my position here, I can actually see right across the top uh, to that fourth barrel all the way back. Um, so we're going to see if there's any drop, you know, and how much it drops. Okay, let's see. How the AK-47 did on the barrels. Okay, so basically I put everything in pretty tight over here. They all came out pretty tight on this side over here. All right, then we came over here. I've marked the old holes so I can tell which the new ones are. And you can see they're already starting to tumble. Okay, so they've come through the second one. We knew that was gonna happen. Then they're tumbling out the back of the second one. It's really interesting in this space of about a foot and a half the tumbling has increased a lot You can see how these are a lot more oval compared to the to the ones in the front So then it went to the third one Okay, it opened up significantly on the third one one two three That one went in straight Four, that went in sideways five that one actually actually it ripped it but it kind of it looks like it glanced too that one that one had didn't quite make it and then the fourth one the AR-15 pretty much could not get to the fourth one they were stopping on the third one um, the AK um, out of the seven shots I fired um, looks like one two three four actually made it out of the four shots that I fired, um, the others deflected. Now, if you notice, they've all dropped because I've um, I was aiming right across the top, you know, and it looks like it's dropped a foot because they're they're tumbling now, so they're slowing down. The air friction is slowing them down, and they're dropping. And if you look on the back side. You can see how they kind of. Well, actually, look at this. One tore out. That one, just, when, when you see something, like normally they'll go through like a laser. When you see something like that, it means that they're, they're starting to drop down below the level of a 22. That one didn't make it through. That one just dented it. Where's that impact? That's, that impact right there. So by the fourth barrel, um, we're pretty much down to the level of a 22, or pretty close to it. Um, but But that's not because of the... Of the material because as I showed you guys in earlier videos 
A 22 will penetrate both sides of these barrels. five of them and I did five earlier so let's go down range and look at the bullet holes to see what's happening all right guys let's take a closer look at this and I've already uh before I did this I already took a look at the video to see what was happening um uh, so you can see this is on this side over here that's the first group of five that I did and then over here is the second group of five that I did and they're exiting out the back over here so um you know as they're coming through this through this barrel um, you know, they're coming, they're coming right across the top, okay? So from this barrel to the second barrel here, we got 15 feet. So in this 15 feet, these things are, 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 are spinning out of control. You can see how they've opened up from here to here. You can see how they've keyholed. You see how they've keyholed um, over here. All right, so these things are really spinning, all right? And then... Uh, for the most part, when we get to the when we get to the third barrel, right? This is the third barrel. We got that's two over here that went through here. We got one here. That one barely cracked it. Okay, um, and that's it. Okay, that actually we got one over here that that went through, and that's it. Out of the ten that I shot. Um, we don't, you know, we don't have much. And then after that, when we get to the uh, to the fourth barrel, there's no new holes over here. We've got one hole that's already marked from earlier. Okay, so I could see in the video that the um, the bullets were impacting the berm. Okay, but what I saw is that they were also they were very wide. I mean, there was a pretty big, you know, you know, whereas I was shooting a, a pretty tight group into the barrel. Um, I could see that there was like they had opened up so that there was like um, almost almost um, 15 feet between the bullets impacting that berm. Um, and some of them actually looked like they hit high. Uh, I suspect that they might have actually hit the ground first and bounced up into the berm. Okay, so so that's that's what I'm kind of suspecting with some of the ones that I saw hit high. Um, because I see a lot, a lot of times when, you know, if I'm shooting at targets that are in the ground, um, sometimes they'll hit the ground and bounce up and hit the berm. So that, that looked like, like that. So what I think is happening is they're going, they're going through, you know, this is the second barrel here. They're keyholing through. Some of them are making it through to the, um, you know, just a few of them are making it through to the third drum. Um, but most of them are either bouncing or going into the ground, bouncing up or going straight into the berm. And I suspect that um, you know, just because they're they're tumbling, they're not going to go too far. You know, they're going to probably go another hundred feet, uh, maybe two hundred feet max. But I don't think that they would go any further than that uh, because they've lost all stability. Now, going back to what happens if these bullets exit your house? Yes, they are immediately lethal as they exit the house. Um, but but again, they're not going to go too far based on based on the tumbling that I'm seeing, you know. And they're tumbling within 15 feet, you know. So they've already destabilized. Um, you know, I was actually really surprised that the muzzle and the gaunt would would tumble this quickly. Um, I I initially what I expected was that it would at least make it through the second drum or even the third drum before it started actually turning over. Because like I said, these these drums are so thin that. Uh, a 22 pistol will penetrate them on both sides. Um, so uh, that's what I have for you guys. If you guys have any uh, comments, feedback, please put it in the comments section. Um, if you're not a member of the channel, subscribe. I'll see you guys next time.